Hey guys, Jin here of Gadget Pilipinas. Huawei sent us their latest tablet, the Huawei MatePad SE 10.4 inch for us to take a look at and review. At na surprise kami sa mga features ito despite its affordable price. In fact, the value you can get from this tablet can match more expensive ones in the market. It has a big 2K full view display, 6 nanometer Snapdragon 680 processor, and easy ways to download top applications. So, Bago natin pag-usapan to, let us answer the question, what makes a value for money entertainment tablet? Uno sa lahat, dapat maganda ang screen. As much as possible, it needs to have the resolution and pixel density para mas crispy at maganda ang ilalabas ng content sa display ng tablet. Dapat rin swabi sa mata at mataas ang brightness level niya, hindi biglaan yung buga ng brightness towards the user. Pangalawa, it needs to be fast. It does not have to be flagship level, but it only needs to have the right amount of RAM and processing power to let you stream your favorite shows on Netflix or Disney+. Plus. Not only that, it also needs to be able to let you play some casual games like Minecraft, Roblox, or even Genshin Impact. Third, it needs to be something that anyone can use. Pwede kay ate, kuya, mama, papa, lolo, at lola. Dapat may ways para ma-download ang mga most used applications like Google Classroom, YouTube, Disney Plus, Netflix, View, at marami pang iba. Without this, it will defeat the purpose of having a tablet with a good display and good performance. Sakto naman kasi I'm happy to inform you that this Huawei MatePad SE passes all these qualifications. While this video is not a review, pag-usapan natin ang mga features ng tablet ito at kung bakit sa tingin ko ay pasok being a value for money entertainment tablet. Siyempre, we will still review this tablet and you can check it out on our website at gadgetpilipinas.net. Let's dive in sa screen ng MatePad SE. The Huawei MatePad SE 10.4 inch is a premium tablet designed with entertainment and comfort in mind. Meron tong 10.4 inch 2K eye comfort Huawei full view display na sa tingin ko ay very spacious and big enough for content consumption. This is also certified by Tov Rainland for low blue light and flicker free technology, ensuring you can use it for extended periods of time without straining your eyes. As a tablet in its price category, sa tingin ko na ito ang best value tablet na may 10.4 inch na display. Alam ko, display ang pinag-uusapan natin pero I think it's also important that we talk about its build. Kapag tablet kasi, it's something that is meant to be portable and mobile. The Huawei MatePad SE has an 83% screen-to-body ratio. Magaan din siya at 440 grams, making it easy to carry with you on the go. According to Huawei, it has a robust middle frame that provides you added durability so you can use your tablet with confidence. Next, let's talk about its performance. Huawei MatePad SE is powered by a 6 nanometer Qualcomm Snapdragon 680. At its price, hamak na mas mataas ang performance ito over Samsung Tab A8 that has Unisoc T618 processor at Realme Pad that has Helio G80. Importante ito para sa isang tablet, kagaya ng nasabi ko kanina, kasi the tablet needs to be able to open streaming apps and games and perform at optimal state without degrading overall performance. Huwag kayong maniwala sa nagsasabi na hindi importante ang processor at RAM kung gagamitin mo lang ito sa entertainment applications. Hindi naman kailangan na naka-Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 ka for a tablet pero at least its chipset needs to be decent and powerful enough for certain applications. Besides, kapag kumuha ka ng tablet na may flagship chipset, asahan mo na rin na mataas ang presyo niyan. By far, the Huawei MatePad SE is among the tablets that I know of na may magandang price to performance ratio. You don't need to pay much for the performance you get. Siyempre, hindi lang hardware performance ang pinag-uusapan dito. Dapat may mga software features that can empower its user. Some of the things that I liked about the Huawei MatePad SE are its ability to connect your existing Huawei devices and also the software's ability to make you become productive through its multi-window feature. I find these features particularly useful kasi it makes it easier for me to transfer files and even work on my projects using two simultaneously running applications on a single display. Next, the Huawei MatePad SE is an entertainment tablet that is built for anyone. Apart from two important things I mentioned earlier, there is this one feature that consumers are looking for on a tablet. Dapat download ko yung apps or games na nilalaro ko. Huawei MatePad SE is built with App Gallery that lets you download and use applications like Google Classroom, YouTube, and a lot more. 
Through App Gallery, you can also download social media and creative apps. Mas pinadali na rin na ma-download ang mga apps that you normally can get through Google Play Store. You can simply search an app, and if the one you're looking for is not natively available on App Gallery, the app will still show up and let you install it directly, pero kasama na dito yung G-Box. If you will remember my previous video here about G-Box, ito yung solution ni Huawei para makapag-install ka ng apps from Google Play Store very easily. Mas pinadali pa nila sa bagong update ni App Gallery. Just search, download, and install with less display taps. Meron ding mga pre-installed apps si Huawei sa MatePad SE. Isa dito yung Kids Corner, which is designed to offer a balance of education and entertainment while also ensuring eye protection and time management. My kids are already old enough to use these apps, pero I believe that parents like me would find this app very interesting for their pre-teens. Parents can set designated time limit intervals throughout the day and choose which apps their children can use. They can also select which videos and pictures their children can view in the content management section. Kung meron kayong mga chikiting na ayaw nyo ma-expose sa mga internet contents na hindi pwede sa kanila, this can be very helpful for you. That's pretty much everything you need to know about the Huawei MatePad SE. I think that it's an amazing tablet and based on its features, it is really among the best entertainment devices you can find in the market right now. If you are in the market for one, you can buy the Huawei MatePad SE, LTE, and Wi-Fi versions via Huawei's online website, Lazada, and Shopee starting February 15. Starting February 17, the LTE version of the Huawei MatePad SE will be available in Huawei stores nationwide. The Huawei MatePad SE LTE edition with 3GB RAM and 32GB storage costs 9999 the LTE version with 4GB of RAM and 128GB of storage is just $13,999. If you want a more affordable Wi-Fi version, there is a 4GB RAM and 64GB storage for $9,999. I believe this one is a total banger kasi pwede mo upgrade yung storage niya using micro SD card. If you buy, you'll get these freebies worth up to $4,399. Inbox folio cover for LTE version, a 64GB memory card, View premium membership for 3 months, Huawei video with 5 Paramount movies, and an entertainment gift box. Remember though that this promo is on a first come, first serve basis. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Gian of Gadget Pilipinas. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell. Our review of the Huawei MatePad SE will be published on our website. So don't miss that out. Bye!